Hi everyone and welcome back for Aero update number 4 already. We left off with Aero update 3 where we chose concept 1 as the winning concept. And concept 1 was the one with this back, web, back swept design for the side pots to alleviate the pressure more in the horizontal plane, uh, creating a bit of separation here, but much reducing the um, air flow separation at the top of the side pots. Um, so this was our new reference. Um, and then we set off to reduce drag because we had way too much drag on the car and enough downforce. So we're willing to sacrifice a bit on that. Um, we had Luca uh, and other enthusiasts um, on our community provide us with suggestions on how to improve the design. We even got a full 3D model um, designed by Luca, which is really impressive. And we implemented it on the car um, after a few discussions we had, which was very interesting. And the results are really, really nice. Um, if we first compare the numbers, so the new design, or the old design, sorry, had a drag um, coefficient of 0 0.925 and the new one has a drag coefficient of 0 0.818 so that's a massive difference now the difference is not as big as you would think because also the frontal surface area has been reduced so to be entirely correct we have to look at the actual forces on the car so if you make the comparison the new one has a drag of 2000 uh, 530 newtons which you can see here in the x direction and the old design um, had a design of 2,980 uh, newtons. So that's a reduction in drag, absolute drag force of 15%, which is really quite dramatic. Um, so 15% reduction in drag force, um, and we need to compare this to what happens with the downforce. Um, so we had a downforce of 6,950 newtons, more or less. So it's a negative force in the Z direction. If you compare that to what we had before, um, which which was 7,730 newtons, that is a loss of downforce of 10%. So that's a significant loss of downforce, obviously, um, but the reduction in drag is, is much higher. So 15% drag reduction for 10% loss of downforce. So depending on the track you're racing, that trade-off might be very welcome uh, for what you want to achieve. Still, we can go even further, uh, but this is already good news. We actually improved the lift over drag ratio, which is the ratio between the downforce or lift versus the drag force that you have on the car. So let's see what happened with the flow around the car. So in the original design, um, or at least air update three, we saw that we had quite a few areas on the rear wing where we had flow separation. So this outward angle of the side plates was a bit aggressive. So we got flow separation here, extra vortices. Um, had some flow, flow separation here. Uh, in the middle part, uh, perhaps the wing was a bit too aggressive, a bit of uh, downwash or, or, or wake coming off the swan neck support there um, and at the bottom of the car we also see that um, the flow can get quite messy here um, there's a bit of flow separation here which is normal because there's a gurney uh, on the lower wing element here on so these are things we set out to optimize and instead of having this very aggressive um, wing angle which is almost zero um, at the beginning and then very high at the at the rear uh, we went for a more low drag configuration um, as suggested by Luca uh, which actually has this negative angle which is very common on, on wings uh, to accelerate the air and then shoot it up uh, towards the rear of the wing and if you compare the flow results just even visually looking at these uh, pressure clouds or actually isosurface of total pressure of zero, which indicates uh, energy loss. Uh, if we compare that, uh, if we can just uh, put the due views next to each other. Um, so lots of red areas here, flow separation and so on. And the new design is actually much, much, much cleaner. So really interesting to see this. Another comparison we can make is to look at the... Um, uh, pressure pattern on the surface. So here we see, interestingly, uh, we have a lot of pressure on the wing, which is a bit reduced on the new design uh, because it's a low drag wing. Uh, so lower uh, pressure um, areas there, um, but at a much lower drag penalty. So that's interesting. Um, if you look at the bottom part, we see that the wing, um, the suction effect is there across the entire wing, which is really nice. Um, on the previous design, we had a similar story, but this uh, 
second wing element, so the top one, featured a bit more high pressure area or less low pressure area. Um, what we also see, interestingly, is that the pressure on the tires is actually different now. Um, and this is likely because of the proximity of the wing towards the wing and, and the way it accelerates the airflow or, or blocks the airflow. Uh, so we see actually a change in um, pressure on, on the wheels. So we had a fairly large low pressure area on the previous design and this has actually been reduced. So less lift on the wheels um, in the new design. Um, what we also see if you look at the pressure clouds is that um, this area here uh, which is a connection of the second wing element to the first or to the side plate it was very difficult to get it right and there's a slight flat area there and you get penalized immediately if you have like a forward facing flat area this causes flow separation so this bubble is something that we can hopefully mitigate by by changing like the 3d curved surfaces here and make them um, tangent uh, to the rest of the surface um, another thing that we see is that the gurneys are working so local uh, local low pressure area just behind the gurneys both here at the top and here at the bottom another thing we spotted is that this element here this is actually part of the suspension uh, and this has been given an aerodynamic profile but it's not a good aerodynamic profile we see flow separation at the bottom here of this profile even before we get to the end of this um, part of the suspension and then at the end there is a gurney on top of this element, uh, further kicking up the flow, which is nice, but it's also further exaggerating the flow separation and the drag. So we'll redesign that element. Um, other than that, what we can also see is that um, we have a vortex here um, at the bottom of the side plate, which is now an isolated element. On the previous design, we saw that this side plate was integrated actually um, to connect with uh, the, the most bottom part of the, of the rear wing. Um, this is now different, so we have this uh, vortex. This can definitely be optimized, but it's, it's not a big one, it's a small one. So that's good news. Um, we can also see, if you look at the pressure pattern, that the lower part of the wing here is not actually generating too much downforce. So we have about average pressure here. And at the bottom, we do have low pressure, but it's not dramatic, especially not as dramatic as, as the diffuser, obviously, but also not as strong as the top part of the wing. Um, if you look at the previous design, we see a bit more aggressive low pressure here. Uh, so probably there's room to tweak this even further without uh, penalizing ourselves in terms of drag, because we still have a nicely attached flow here, uh, as you can see by the surface friction and, and, and the streamline, still nicely parallel, still green, greenish area which means we have attached flow in this area uh, so that's what we're going to work on for probably still aero update 5 uh, we weren't planning to do this but it's just so interesting that we will continue to work on this um, so in conclusion, the wing performs much better. Of course, we have a loss of lift, uh, but we have an even greater a reduction in drag, which improves our lift over drag ratio. And we know what to focus on. Um, we might actually even uh, go from a straight profile here uh, to a more dented one, um, which means that if we lower this and then kick up the air a bit more aggressively uh, by lowering the mid part of the wing here, uh, we can actually uh, improve the wing loading, um, as they say, and get more downforce hopefully without um, increasing the drag too much. Um, so that's the topic for next time. If you have suggestions, drop them in the comments. And again, thanks for watching. It's really nice to launch this video, these models based on the community feedback. We're really grateful for all of the suggestions that we get, get from you guys. It's really nice to see um, how there's so many talented people out there. Drop your suggestions, share the video, comment as much as you want, and uh, enjoy the first race of the season. Uh, I hope you will look at it with a different perspective now that you've seen all of these aero updates thanks a lot for watching see you soon bye bye